good morning to you. How are you? I hope you are well. I'm vlogging at the moment from the south of France. Just very cash, very cash. We flew out here for Maddie's wedding. Remember my Maddie? Maddie, my Maddie, my manager. Um, she married Joel in the most beautiful ceremony you've ever seen. You know like when you see magazine weddings? It was that. Um, obviously I didn't film any of it because it's her special day, um, but we had a really, really lovely time and we have one day left here. We're going home tomorrow. So we have spent the day at the hotel just relaxing because um, we didn't bring the children out with us. And tonight we're going for a date night in Saint-Rémy-de-Provence. I'm sorry if I have like really pronounced that horribly. And I'm a little bit excited about it. It's so lovely to be so relaxed because if we have date nights at home in England, obviously we've been like dashing around all day, both at work or both looking after the children or whatever we're up to. Um, but today we've just been so relaxed, just sort of with a breakfast, sat by the pool, we've watched Line of Duty, <laughs> we know how to live. Um, so yeah, we're just both feeling pretty chill. I will say I'm not feeling chill about how hot it is. It's 34 degrees. I'm just standing in the shade on my balcony and wow, it's warm. Um, anyway, I thought you might like to come and um, come on our little date night. You can be the third wheel um, and see what it's like. I do have a room tour that's going to go up of our room soon. I, I, I made it for Facebook, but I will also put it up on YouTube. But for now, let's just go and have a lovely date together. So I'm going to take you into the lobby. This is it here. That's where we go down for breakfast. There's a nice little bar. Bonjour. There's a little lounge with a piano in there. And then we're going to go out and get into our hire car. Are you excited to have a little date night with me? I'm very excited. Oh my god. We pre-planned this and I said I'm going to ask you and I just want you to say yes, but you went above and beyond there, Got babe. Off Got off peace. Little fountain. That's a bit nice. You know how I love a fountain. So apologies about the sounds of the fans. I just thought I would give you a car hire tip. We hired our car through a company called Sixth, like Six with a T on the end. And we went for just a regular car, didn't we? Just... No, we went for like a cash car. Oh, we went for a cash car. And then when we got there, they upgraded us to, for free, to a BMW 1 Series, which was very nice. So that was positive. But then, they were, there was a bit of confusion about insurance because we thought we had booked the insurance but then we had to pay extra for insurance it was like £300 was it? Uh, about £200 £200 extra so when you're booking a car make sure you take into account like that there might be extra charges or look into that because we didn't and then it was a sting I don't know if the audio on this would be any good I know the fans are on it's just so hot go to Saint Romy de Provence but we ended up having a little drive because it was all just so beautiful and we've come to a town called Arles which has a Colosseum um, and we thought we would just get out the car and have a little look round and see what there is here already I'm impressed because there's a fountain in the roundabout over there and there's a really cute little playground that made me think of Darcy and Pearl and like if they were here we would probably go in that little playground. We wish them. There we go, I'll film this bit that's not got children on. Look, it's like a little boat and things to climb in. Well, would love it. We're trying to work out the that takes us parking. To 26, yeah, we'll do that. that. We'll do that one. Trying to work out the parking system and it's all in French. Oh, I wish we spoke other languages. So the car's parked and this. I think must be the entrance to it. Look, in the olden days, that must have been like a castle entrance, very Game of Thrones, isn't it? We're not sure if maybe the shops don't open till later. It's about five o'clock now, or if it's a Sunday, they're all shut. But this one's cute. Look at all of those. 
reminds me of um well that reminds me of the nativity but like in general it reminds me of beauty and the beast like there goes the baker with his tray like always particularly her look she should be in beauty and the beast <gasps> and there there's the baker just a very casual uh what would we even call this side of a building here insta wall goals little hat stands or hat shops and pashminas they're all so cute little veggie stock fruit and veg and some woven bar that's a nice bag actually all metallic and blue really like that oh look little comic books a little charity shop yes Oh my god, it's open. Yes. So we've been walking around exploring and we have just found the most beautiful building. I don't even think my camera is doing it justice, but just look at that. It's got like a vine going all the way across. Man on a rickshaw. It's just so beautiful here. It's so fairy tale. Marie Bits and Clips. You must fly out to me immediately and experience this with me. Just look at all the shutters on the windows. Look at the ye old light just there. Oh, what have you seen? Oh my god. The sun flare, the framing. Oh my goodness. We are taking some Instagrams. Put the, put the camera down. Let's whip out the phone. We got lucky and there was a passerby. This is not with a filter. This is just that sun flare. Oh my goodness. Look how cute we look. Wow. Wowee, that is a whole coliseum. You're afraid of heights, which I'm not, but oh my, he do not feel stable. Oh wow, wow, it's like a very dry rugby pitch, isn't it? I wouldn't say that I'm afraid of heights in any fashion, but I would say that this just feels very like does not feel safe enough. You can just skip around this, like scaffolding uh yeah i, I want to get down i've decided that the scaffolding is not for me but i would like to have a look at the view from up here so let's give this a go look this is much this looks you know sturdy stone you know where you are with stone well in the olden days they must have had really long legs because blood neck god and she's up, she's up. Oh, that's nice. Can I take a little picture of you? Oh yeah, that's nice. We've climbed to the top and the views are incredible. So that's the amphitheatre area. Look how thick it is. Like, look how thick the walls are made. That's pretty impressive. And then look. I feel like I'm the hunchback. I feel like I'm Quasimodo from Notre Dame. Look at all of that. Cheeky little tower. Look at that. I wonder what they did with this. Like, was it like a premium viewing station? Or do you think they had like, I mean, what's that for? For like aeration or weapons or? Over here, we just have even more beautiful views. <laughs> All right, France, we get it. You're good looking. We're just going down the world's steepest steps and look what I noticed in the wall. Is this like oh god <laughs> terrified? Is this like a fossil or has it been stuck on? If so, why has it been stuck on like that? If anybody knows anything about this, I'd be very interested. It's very niche, but you know, that's what tickles my pickle. Right. Can you turn that off when you come down, please? <laughs> Are you afraid? Not walking down the steps so this is allowed look more fossils i'll just zoom i won't actually physically move closer i'll stay stay sturdy look shells shell fossils are they everywhere they are look 
shell fossils. Look, there he is. Oh, I'm not supposed to be walking down the stairs with my camera on. <laughs> I'm such a rebel. So up there, if you look just there, that's where we were when we were up at the top. And that's the little tower bit that I was like, oh, just a casual tower. And then we've come all the way down and we're in this little sort of alleyway, this cute little road. It's just so beautiful here. I mean, like look, the tree climbing up, the little windows and the blue shutters. Oh, Europe is, oh look, and the light. This is just like out of a film. Marie Bits and Clips, I know you are watching this and just slightly drooling at it all. Please come to England and I will pop you on a plane and I will take you to these magical places. What a time we should have. Marie, that's where you can live. You can live in that little house there. And I shall live maybe in this one over here with its shutters. This little like orangey one. And we can wave to each other from our windows and then we can just shout Fancy going to the Brasserie Restaurant Des Ariane, Haren, and we will. You'll go to this place to get your cuisines from. That's where you'll go, in there. And then we'll meet here and we'll drink wine as the sun sets. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm having a date night for me and Liam or a date night for me and Marie in my head. So we have arrived at Sam Remy. Provence, Provence. De Provence. Lovely drive, so pretty. Um, and we're going to park up and see about finding a restaurant. There's, there's an old ye old carousel, look. I'll show you. It's over here. You have reached your destination. Oh, hello there. Very pretty. Look at that. Liam just did some excellent reverse parking there. I was very impressed. Um, I'm going to show you some of the sites already. Site number one is this scooter. Site number two is this dog. Hello, friend. And then here, look. Got the carousel with that huge, like this, behind it. This is nice. Just on the far side of the car park, there's a lovely building. It looks a bit town hall-y. I don't know if it is the town hall, but because of the clock on the top, it reminds me of Back to the Future. You know, you know the bit, let me know if you do. Look at that. Look at this homeware shop. <gasps> oh, I want everything. These big glass vases with pampas. That's the thing now, isn't it? Pampas. I love it. Look at all this bedroom stuff. Oh, I'm so sad. A, it's shut, and B, I don't have the carry on for it. Look at these. They are lovely. All those bags. And then this is. Where also the temperatures dropped considerably so it was 34 degrees earlier and it feels like a really comfortable like mid-twenties now what are you looking for? Are you looking for restaurants and things? Yeah, he's a good boy it's the little details that are getting me devil's in the details like these benches with the bluey wrought iron detailing and then a little fountain and that little girl like washing her hands in it. I don't know if it's clean or not. <laughs> All the flags and oh, little town full of quiet village. Something else and then something more. Something else and then bell and something. Waking up to say bonjour, 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 bonjour. We found a very cute little restaurant. Cheers, babe. Cheers. This is a public service announcement to anybody out there. Just let you know that Margarita Pizza with olives is the best pizza going. 
I don't want you to come at me in the comments. It is just a fact. We're just leaving the restaurant, but by the door, they have a case of all of these little num 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 num. Look at that little strawberry thing. That's, that that would be. Oh yeah. Hello, my friend. So we've had a lovely meal, and something I think about France I learnt yesterday and today is the alcohol here is a lot stronger. Oh. Oh, 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 look, 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 Find a penny, pick it up all day long, you'll have good luck. Pass it on to a friend, then your luck will never end. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the alcohol here is quite a lot stronger, so I've only had two drinks, but I can feel them in my bones, you know? We've decided to get a crepe because when in Rome, do the joke, when in Rome. Please continue. In that film. Uh, when in France, get a crepe. Um, I'm it's loud. Liam believes that the alcohol is not stronger here and it doesn't go into your bones, but I'll leave that to you to hash out in the comments. Is the alcohol in continental Europe stronger? Yeah, your nay. Anyway, uh, Nutella crepe. That, what, what are you going to have? Nutella and the strawberries. <sighs> is exotic here we go that's nice isn't it a girl on oh it's not focused or my eyes oh no it is i thought it was my eyes uh it's a girl on the moon it's nice here we go here we go get our crap on crappy crappy crap 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 oh a crap or an ice cream that's oh i'm gonna get ice cream yeah yeah i am so that's where we got our little crepes from and we sat on a bench and this is our view which is pretty special i put my um phone torch on to show you look at that that is oh look it's dribbling out yum oh liam yours looks delicious god we know how to live don't we this looks phenomenal so the cue to crepe eating is to light like what you're doing so you can Fancy Very elegant. Yeah. I'm having a great time. Once it's lovely. Highly recommend coming here. You wouldn't believe that I've used several napkins <laughs> to try and get all this off me. It was very loud. Um it is very challenging to eat that. That's not a great food for if it's a first date. Luckily we're sort of stuck with each other now, so <laughs> Get what you get <laughs> but yeah that was a bit messy that was messier than i anticipated it to be right we are going we didn't eat all of it, it was very nutellery um and it comes to something when something's too nutellery we are going to get in the car i should fyi liam's not had a drink and um, we're going to get in the car and go back now um so that's probably the end of this little vlog i wish i wasn't vlogging with like nutella Here's the lights. I'm on stage. Liam's just walking far ahead now. Um, we're going to head off um, back to the hotel now. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog as much as. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog as much as I've enjoyed just living this vlog. This has been great. I wish all vlogs were just like, come with me on a magical date night around Provence, France. Oh, look. The carousel. That looks a bit nice, doesn't it? Let me do a little zoomy. Zoomy, zoomy. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Zooming out, zooming out. Right, that's the end of the vlog, so it's goodbye from me and goodbye from him. Do you want to shout goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, I'll leave all my links below. Lots of love. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bonsoir. Oh, be careful.